Hello and welcome to 48 Hours with Maria Schwarz. And that sounds like I'm holding you hostage. Good morning. Um, I'm Maria Schwarz and welcome to my busiest day of the week. I just woke up, so we're going to start with breakfast. The most important part of starting the day is a healthy breakfast, so Eggos. My most toxic tree, still drinking milk. So now that I have my breakfast, I usually eat breakfast while watching a little bit of whatever I'm watching at this time. Um, right now I'm in a two month, well I guess this is the third month of a Brendan Fraser filmography binge. So I'm watching six episodes of The Affair, which is interesting enough. But I feel like it would make more sense if I watched the first two seasons. I tend to find that that helps the viewer experience. Hot girls take their Prozac. So now that breakfast is over, I tend to do some social media setup for my projects. So I'm honestly pausing because <laughs> I'm having a slight panic attack, which can happen. Um, I'm gonna try to get back up. I also realized that I haven't shown you really my room yet, so let me do that. So here's my desk. So there's some graded papers there, pictures of friends. This is a collectible original movie release monkey bone poster that I got for like $10. Um, and I put it up facing my bed so I get to say goodnight to Brendan Fraser every night. But then I realize it's kind of creepy. Like, look at that demented pig. Look at that guy. That guy has neck issues. I use watermelon toothpaste because I am like 83% certain that I'm semi-allergic to mint. So I use my children's toothpaste. Next, I use my Noble Formula Bar Soap on my face. Uh, it's the only soap mild enough for my sensitive skin. Now I get out my Rose Quartz Roller from the freezer just to bring down some inflammation. Since it's Rose Quartz, it's also supposed to be good for love connections. That hasn't worked yet, but I will keep you updated. I use Clinique Clarifying Lotion. Number two, we have our Metro all cream because your girl has rosacea, so of course she does. And then we have our Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. Not sponsored by Clinique, but I'm open to it. One time I went to Ulta to pick up some. And the store was robbed while I was there. And that felt like a bad sign. I use Cetaphil, uh, gentle skin cleanser, without water, because Rachel Bra is in a hair and Marvelous Miss Maisel recommended it. And now, CeraVe moisturizing cream. This is our heavy duty. When I was uh, 19, I got the Victorian era disease, scarlet fever. I haven't noticed a pattern by now, so I have bad luck. And the CeraVe was literally the only thing that got me through that. I'm going to check email before lunch. Um, uh, I'm an MFA student at uh, American University. I'm the nonfiction editor of Folio Literary Magazine. Yes, nothing. Okay, we don't have to send an email. Hooray. So now that I've force-fed myself a pepperoni hot pocket, I'm gonna work on my article writing. Um, so I work as a freelance writer for a digital media pop culture website, and so I do a lot of articles. I do um, personality quizzes, trivia quizzes. So it is time to get dressed for the day. 
Um, I have my teaching internship today, um, so I have to look semi-professional so that it looks like I am in charge of undergraduate freshmen. Okay, so this is the fit. Blazer from Hand Me Down from my sister. Um, PBK pin <laughs> uh, for my instilled sense of needing to bolster my self-confidence with material items that show that I peaked in college. So then final touch is adding just a little spritz of Perfect by Marc Jacobs because something in my life has to be. <laughs> now I have to go to work. Um, so I have to walk to campus. Uh, it's a pretty bad walk, but I've gotten used to it. So I've gotten a lot better. This is what we call in the film and media world, a lie. Bye, Brendan. Update, I lied. This is hell. Welcome to American University. I'll be assisting a classroom and then taking a grad school class today. What you missed is that I sat in the back and observed my mentor professor as we go, went through a class on multimodal composition. So I got some Gator light, rapid rehydration. Is she an athlete? No, she's not. <laughs> Welcome Hi. to fiction. Hi everyone. This is my friend Michelle. Hi. <laughs> Done with class. Uh, it's a little bit after eight and I'm walking home. Um, the dress is feeling less and less like a good idea. It's kind of freezing. Um, Usually at this point I would call my parents or something. Who else would I call? I don't know. Just to make sure I don't die. Instead I'm doing this. So hopefully if you see this footage, it's because <laughs> I edited it this way and not because it's found footage. Here I am back in my natural habitat. It's a little... It's 8.40, so time for dinner. Um, don't be... I don't want to dissuade you. I did not make this. Uh, I went home this past weekend and my mom sent me home with food. I'm a terrible cook. I can make pancakes. You will also notice that I am sitting at my desk instead of my bed because I thought, let's give the people what they want. Um, but I can't cancel student debt or make world peace, so I'm sitting at my IKEA furniture and feeling like a hero. But it's time for podcasting. Um, we usually do a new episode every other week. Um, so this week we are talking about Twilight, which I had never seen before. Um, but we always try to do like a casual cosplay. So yeah, and this is my little podcasting setup. Okay. Um, so this is Brooke Reese. She's my best friend and my longtime collaborator. Um, we run this podcast together, uh, Remake Hot Take, and we uh, run a late night show called The Catch Up. Um, Brooke also runs another podcast called I'm Thinking of Watching Things. So yeah, Brooke is like the coolest person I know. Um, Brooke, would you- I not know that many people. <laughs> So, Brooke, do you want to say anything to the Breaking Character show? Hello, everyone <laughs> on Breaking Character and those watching. Um, you should check out all of the things that Mario just talked about. Um, we're, like, pretty fun <laughs> to watch and listen to, so you should give it a look. Hello, and welcome back to the Remake Hot Take podcast, the podcast where we play executives trying to pitch new remake ideas of popular media. I'm Brooke Reese. And I'm Maria Schwarz. Who does Eaton podcast filmed? So now it's time to go on to our next thing of the night, which is uh, homework. Now that homework is done for the day, it's been a long, very long day, I'm going to treat myself with one of the world's greatest inventions, which is a brown sugar bubble tea popsicle as part of the ketchup. Here are a few things that I wrote tonight. 
uh, based on their formation and alignment to the solstice, Stonehenge may have been an ancient solar calendar, study finds. Also because someone carved in Dave Dentist appointment in the stones. The issue with telling people that you're a comedian is they often assume that you're a stand-up comedian. But I identify more as a sit-down comedian. I appear on podcasts, I appear on talk shows. I write comedy, novels, short stories, satire. I host the catch-up. Highly seated. I was not born to stand in pace. Life is hard. And as of right now, I don't think that lay down comedy is a thing. So the other day I went to the dentist. Everyone say goodnight, Brendan. Good morning. Welcome to day two with Maria Shores. Um, there's a lot of construction going on in my apartment today. Sounds like a demonic cello, so like it or not, I am awake for the day. So now we're gonna have breakfast and I'm gonna watch a little bit of Trust. Um, I don't get it. I don't know. Brendan Fraser is like randomly Texan. Pop goes to the Prozac. This is a segment I like to call Things Maria Might Like to Be Doing If She Had Time. And I'm going to be using the virtual background function on Zoom because I'm lazy. <laughs> the Postal Museum is actually one of my favorite museums. And it's the only museum that they let you take things for free. Let you just like take stamps, start your own stamp collection. Um, which I tried to do that with Dorothy's slippers at American History Museum, but I just got banned. So. Okay. And I'm going to start making graphics for the ketchup, which I'm filming tonight. I told you, demented cello. I'm using Adobe Photoshop to do the quickest cutout ever. You don't know the joke that goes along with this, so this has zero meaning for you. I have an author interview in about an hour. Um, this is for the a DC women's... Uh, Literary magazine called Grace and Gravity. This is Cover Girl Exhibitionist. Revlon Matte Balm in Sultry. So now that I have some time before my author interview starts, I'm gonna do some more work. Um, this is for, if you're keeping track at home, my third part-time job, um, so I judge for the NYC Midnight Creative Writing Competition. While I do this, I also usually uh, take Brendan Fraser breaks. Um, so I am my third month, I think, of my Brendan Fraser filmography binge. Um, my parents call it crazy. I call it being committed to something bigger than myself. I'm at about 40 out of 68 titles. Um, so we're getting there. I like to look up what people's, what I call them star signs, which is who hosted SNL for the first episode after you were born. Um, so for me, Brennan Fraser hosted two days after I was born. Two, yeah, two days after I was born. Um, so he is my star sign. But something I also do every day is check my co-star app for my astrology. Um, we have a love-hate relationship, as in... I love it and it hates me and it says what I don't know is how to read the room. Thanks co-star. Okay so the interview is starting soon. I'm just doing last minute setups. Here we have this delectable spread of Papa John's Works Pizza paired with broccoli with cheese on it. Because if you've taken anything away from this video it's that I'm the pinnacle of health. Can we just talk about this cowboy hat, the Texan accent, the milk? I don't fully understand it, but I'm here for it, babe. Two articles I wrote yesterday just got published, so huzzah! Cheers! So, I'm my days off 
They are two, like, two, at least one room in the apartment. Sometimes just one thing if I don't have time because messes make me very anxious. <laughs> so we still have some stuff to do, but we're going to break right now to film um, my comedy show that I do with Brooke called The Catch Up, which means that I need to get into costume. So now that I finished recording the episode, I'm gonna use my phone to show you what my setup looks like. So on this side, we have my uh, Canon camera, my DSLR. Uh, I think it's a T7i Rebel. Um, and then on top, we have my Rode mic. And then over here, we have my ring light. Um, so if you come over here, this is what that setup looks like. Now we're going to start editing everything together with Premiere. I always add the denoise effect to get some of the buzzing from the microphone out of there. I change the white balance and I usually make myself a little bigger and over to the side so I have more room for the graphic. Then I get that graphic I made earlier and time that with the clip. Here's what it all looks like together. A cargo ship full of luxury cars sank in the Atlantic Ocean. This is being seen as a tragedy, except if your name is Marlin and you're looking for your son Nemo. Now that we've been editing for a while, we're gonna take a TikTok break that is probably gonna go on far too long, but that's how that works. Okay, so now we are going to break for dinner. Um, I have some takeout Thai food. Uh, I'm gonna take some time to play video games. So this is my sick setup which is the Nintendo DS Lite from, what, the early, mid-2000s. A uh, High School Musical game pouch. Gain access to the Emperor's Mausoleum. Okay. I'm just trying to leave. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I can't do that here. But... Well, not with that attitude, you can't. Okay, so this was game time with Mari. <laughs> the other big thing about me is that I identify as disabled. I have chronic pain um, in my wrists. I've had it since I was about 14. Um, um, but just as like a general practice, I try to use a heating pad, ice, um, and then I also have a mini massager the Lori Moore is autographed. NBD. Um, yeah, here's everything I have. My shelves that I'm reading, trying to read. Um, yeah, literary citizenship. NBD. So there are a lot of things that I would like to get done, but I finished an article. It's a little after two. Um, I have work tomorrow. I have my internship. Um, shadowing my mentor professor and really want to be present um, and see the students, so I'm going to head to bed. My night routine is very similar to my morning routine. I brush my teeth, and look, I'm sorry I'm not flossing. I flossed for a whole year, and my dentist still said I needed to floss every day, and I just became disillusioned with the system. Then I wash my face. I'm using a headband to save my hair from some of that soap residue, and I go in with my rose quartz roller. For moisturizing, I do Clinique CeraVe Nighttime Moisturizer, Cetaphil, another CeraVe Moisturizer. Then I take my Flonase for general allergies. More Burt's Bees Watermelon Chapstick. Cute little color, gets the job done. You know this is set up, right? Like, I have to get up. I'm not going to record the whole night of sleeping. I hope you realize how gimmicky this is. This is Maria Schwarz saying good night, Brendan, to you one final time. Good night, Brendan. Wait, did that sound like I die? Like I'm what, still alive? It's just the log over. You should check out my projects because I'm still alive and I need people to notice me. <laughs>